All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what we're gonna do, this video has been asked numerous times for me to do. So today, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna make you guys happy, I'm gonna do this. Now, this video is about rolling offsets. How do you get them? Super easy, I mean, it's so easy guys. Believe me, when I show you this, you're gonna be like, oh, makes sense, super easy. So what we have here is, we're gonna pretend this wall just keeps on going and going and going. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to get this piece of conduit into this box right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend like we're coming down this wall. Am I in frame here? Yeah, right here, we're gonna pretend like we're in this wall and we need to get up here. Now, obviously, if the box is right here, we just offset straight up to it, but it's over there. So how are we gonna get from here to here? I'm gonna show you guys, super easy. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're, uh, now there's no marks on this wall here and I have my tape measure here, I have not measured it. We're just gonna throw a measurement out here or actually we're gonna throw a line out here because we're gonna say that our conduit, let's just say, well, let's just put the conduit up and see. Let's say it's right here, all right? So this is the top of my conduit and this is the bottom of my conduit, all right? I always go to the bottom of the conduit. I don't care if you wanna go to the top, so be it. I go to the bottom every time. So this is the top. This is the bottom. We're gonna learn how to get this piece of conduit. You see there's no bins on this conduit anywhere. From here to this box. Super easy, super easy. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put my Sharpie right here so I can make sure I find it. All right, so if the conduit was, obviously it wouldn't be right here. It'd be way back here, but that is where the line was gonna keep going. So in other words, the conduit could be coming 60 feet and then this is the ending point of it, but you're this low, but there's the box, so you need to make sure you get into it. Like I said, if this was just a regular offset, you just offset up. So I've seen some people just offset more and then roll it in there and then bend it in, like push it. Let's not do that. Now this works for any, a lot of people ask me the same question. Will this work for three quarters? Will this work for one inch? I had a person ask me, looks like you're bending a half inch. Can you not bend anything else? Well, yeah, I could. Same thing, but I'm not gonna, go buy a bunch of three quarter one inch just to prove to you that I can do it. Trust me, there's no shame in my game. I can bend the conduit, all right? So for those guys who, you know, send me emails and ask me, well, you must be a wuss because you can't bend one inch. Well, I'm telling you, I've got an inch and a quarter bender. I can bend an inch and a quarter. I am a big boy. So anyway, like I say, no, I just, I just want you guys to know that I bend half inch because it's here, it's easy. Technically, it's so cheap that, you know, all right. Enough said. So, like I said, the condo will be coming here, so we need to learn how to get right here, right? So what I suggest you guys do until you learn how to do it, is I would just take a scrap piece of conduit, because you, you already know where your line is, and if you don't, well, measure from something to get where it is. So let's just pretend we measured it and this is where it is. So I guess the best thing to do is to put your connector in first. Kind of got ahead of myself there. All right, so I would just take a piece of scrap conduit, like I said, and I would just, just hold it past there. So like I said, I like going to the back. We're gonna let it stick over a little bit. I don't know if, if you don't have that stick over, we'll hold it right there. But you'll go to the back and then you will make sure it's level. And I got right at about 13 and the eighth. We're gonna go 13 on this one, okay? Just for the sake of it all. We're just pretending it's 13. That's all you gotta do. So you're gonna go to the back of your pipe. So it's sitting like this, you're gonna stick your offset on the back or your tape measure on the back of this pipe right here you're going to measure to this part right here because the back of the pipe will end right there and then you just roll it in now watch how easy this is now if you don't know how to use the cosan chart um cosecan chart however you want to say it i'm just gonna say cosan because that's just what i always did uh i have a video on that it tells you how to use the 30 degree multiplier 15 45 60 i think i'm gonna link that right here guys make sure you check it out I have a lot of videos of 90s, of offsets, of three-point saddles, of four-point saddles, kicks, stub 90s, so on and so forth. Check them out, guys. I have a whole playlist, and I'm going to keep on rolling with this. But let's go ahead and do this now. We're going to bend this on 30-degree marks. We have 13 inches. It's actually 13 eighths, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to do 13. Super easy to multiply 13. We're going to use it on 30 degrees, so we times it by 2. 13 times 2 is 32. Psych 26. So what we're gonna do first is the same thing I always tell you to do. 
on half inch, I always at least pull two inches down. Now, why do I do that? Because if I ever need to cut a little piece off, I have that to cut off. So we're going to start right here at two inches. Now, 13 plus 13 is 26. So what we're going to do is we're going to come off that mark 26 inches. So we're going to leave it right there and we're going to put it at 26 inches. So I have my two marks. We're going to pull it down to 30 degrees. I don't really know that I need to show you guys how to bend that. Um, if you don't know how to bend a 30 degree marks, check out those videos, guys. I'm going to bend this real quick, pull the camera away from me so I can bend it. And I'll knock the camera down and all that jazz. And then we're going to stick it on here and see if it goes in. So I decided to show you because I don't want somebody to say, oh, you had somebody bend it for you, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just going to show you guys. Here's the conduit. I'm going to go ahead and bend it. And like I said, if you don't know how to bend on 30 degrees, definitely watch those videos. And I got 26 here. I'm going to save my pipe. Now I'm not going to get every little thing in frame. My face, the bender, my feet, my legs. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing here. All right, we're going to bend her down 30 degrees. I want to make sure there's no dog legs in it. It looks pretty good. looks like it's a good... Now if you want to know anything about this bender, guys, uh, I actually have a link down below to where you can check this out on Amazon. All right, so just so you guys know, I had to remove my box, move it somewhere else. And let me tell you why. Because I ran out of wall space. As you see, I don't have any more studs. That's where I originally had it. I'll show you the marks in a second. But you see there's no more studs through there. And you can see the top up here where there's a top plate, but there's no studs. That's because I was doing other videos, electrical videos. And anyway, I, I just ran out of wall space. So I moved my box down a little bit actually in my garage on a stud down way here. So same height and everything, so everything's the same. Here's the same piece of pipe so I don't get any hate emails and say, oh, you just couldn't figure out how to do the bins, yada, yada, yada. Well, everything's exactly the same except the placement. That way we have enough room to put this pipe on this wall so you guys can see. Let me show you the, uh, let me show you the marks. There they are right there. So hopefully, well, I know it. I know it will because I already tried it. But so basically, if this was to keep going like that, right, you would get it in there. So let's put it in and see what happens. So you put it in, boom. You level your pipe up, and if you can, I don't know if you guys can tell or not. If you guys can tell or not, but if you were to draw a line through here, it's almost perfectly level where it needs to be. That is all it requires for a rolling offset guys don't let that be something that's hard to do because it's super easy all you have to do is like i said now here would be even better because the box is a lot further you can put your piece of pipe there and you can offset or take your tape measure from the back all i always go from the back you can go from the top but it's just to me it doesn't make any sense go from the back of your pipe to the back of your connector problem solved right guys it's all there is to it. if you have any questions concerns any kinds of offset videos or whatever else you guys want me to do leave a comment down below i feel very confident in my bending i can show you guys anything you need to know uh, so i've done quite a bit of bending through my life and i feel like i'm pretty good at it down below you'll have a lot of uh discount codes you can get uh some shoes discount codes some wipes because it's pretty warm in here right now and uh you know take a shower or whatever got shower wipes and i got all kinds of different discounts all my camera gears down there i have a p.o box if you want to send me anything i also have uh, a patreon and a paypal you guys can check out p.o box all that jazz is down below guys feel free to use anything all the links for all the stuff i use the bender uh if you saw any clients in there a lot of my electrical stuff is always going to be linked down in my electrical videos not my past ones but my newer ones and they're all affiliate links you can click on them it takes you right to amazon all that helps my channel grow and continues my projects for you guys so I can help you. All right, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that bell button. Leave a comment down below if you have any special videos you want me to show you guys. Like what you see, like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a great day.